What's going on good people? This is Drew and today I want to do a quick video about how to tune your 808s. Um, this might help a producer, aspiring producer, whether you've been doing it for a long time or just started. This could really give you a solid foundation um, to be creating and doing things in a proper key. So what I'm going to do here is, well I already preloaded a um, an 808 and a tuner, right? So um, this 808 tells me that it's an 808 sub bass 03 in F minor. Um, I'm going to play an F on the keyboard, a true F on the keyboard, and this tuner here that I also dropped on the track should be an F. Now, if it's not an F, that means that this, this sub bass 808 is not an F. All right, so I'm going to go to the keyboard. Nah, 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 it's, it's not, it's not an F. So it says it's a B flat. I believe the tuner. I don't have perfect pitch, so I believe the tuner. That is not an F. That's a B flat. So what I'm going to do here is now I'm going to transpose the um, the 808 down until it tells me that the F on the keyboard is the F on the tuner. Follow me? Here we go. So that's B flat. Take it down one. That's A. Take it down another one. A flat. Take it down another one. Another one. And that's a G. We're getting closer. We're getting warmer. <laughs> F sharp, one half step, one semitone away from it being an F. Here we go. Now, that is an F. And that's basically how I tune my 808. So, now I'm playing an F. If I go down to C on the keyboard, the tuner will tell me that I'm playing a C. C, right? If I play a B flat, it's a B flat. If I play an E flat, it's an E flat. D flat. Or C sharp, same thing. It's actually C sharp. So C, F, B flat, E flat, A flat, C sharp, F sharp. So that's how I tune my 808s. Um, and then I would save it. Um, so every time I open up that 808, which I happen to like, it's already in the proper key. It's already tuned um, to my liking. Um, everybody doesn't do it that way. Everybody doesn't tune. Everybody doesn't feel that like it's necessary. I've heard songs on the radio, billboard charting songs where the 808 is out of tune. So you can still make good music. I feel like you could be more musical if you just tune your 808s. It would sound more pleasing to the ear. Uh, unless you wanted to be disruptive and not do things musically. <laughs> when you're dealing with music, This you could also do it that way. But that's all I have for you. That's how to tune your 808s. Um, if this video helped one producer or one music creator, I did my job. I'm happy. I'll be able to sleep at night. Um, but seriously, I hope this helped somebody um, and it pushes you into the next step of your producing career and your producing journey. I hope you got something out of this video. If you have any questions, make sure you hit me up via DM, comment, like, share, hit the subscribe button. Until next time, I'm Dramatic. Peace.